Coming up in today's video, we say goodbye to the wall of indecision. I have a helping hand as we race against the clock to make sure that we get the bathroom done in time, and I stick my head through a door. Hello everybody and welcome back to the cottage renovation series. This is episode four now, so if you haven't caught up on the previous episodes, I'll leave some links in the description below. But anyway, I am here with the wall of indecision, which is now the wall of decision because I've finally bought some paints. This is your final chance to decide what color I've gone for. Okay, here we go. The main walls that I'm gonna be painting today downstairs is in sage gray. Uh, this is a Sanderson color, but we are using Dulux trade paint that we've color matched it to, just so it's a little bit more affordable. This is gonna be the back wall here. I cannot wait. I feel like this green is gonna really transform the room and it's also gonna be really satisfying seeing the whole room come to life. It's now time to let some light in, so it's time to say goodbye to the makeshift curtains for now, but also because they are kind of like in the way, I don't really want to get paint, even though it is just old curtains and a rug, so bye-bye. Oh, oh no, my fairy lights! I hung up some fairy lights for Christmas, but I've kept them up here because that bulb's gone, so at the moment I'm eating my dinner in darkness. Before I paint, I also need to move everything about, put some dust sheets down, um, but yeah, I'm, it's kind of sad because my sofa's all pretty with my cushions and my blanket on, but I'm now destroying everything. We're in DIY painting mode, so I'm gonna move my little makeshift table out the way. I'm still waiting for my table from the wood yard to be complete, so that is actually outdoor furniture that I've just put a little something on to try and make it not seem as ugly. Okay, I might need some help moving the sofa because I don't want to drag it on the hardwood floor and then this get destroyed because it's very pretty. Also, thought I'd talk about the outfit of the day. I currently have my very old jogging bottoms on. That are my painting jogging bottoms, if you couldn't already tell. If you guys watched my stable renovation series where I did so much painting, you would have seen this outfit a lot because I pretty much wore this every day for a whole s spring, summer, autumn. I also have fluffy socks on because can't go wrong with fluffy socks in the winter. Uh, I've got my hair up as well because last time I did painting, got a bit of paint in my hair. I don't want to do that again today, but knowing me, it will probably happen. <laughs> All right, so I've got my home phone here because I don't have any signal where I live, so I have to have a home phone. Um, and then I also have my Wi-Fi here as well and kind of hide it in the dust sheet. So if you couldn't tell, this is the green that I've gone for. I decided that that green was just a little bit too of a muddy green. Anyway, I know what you're probably thinking. Esme, where is the prep work? What's happening here? Now there is like a few things that I need to do, like there's a nail that's currently in here that needs taking out. There are some like little holes in the wall that probably need replastering, sanding down, that kind of thing. But this green is quite a bold color. It's not just like painting a white wall where you're like, yep, Oh, 100% like that. I'm pretty sure I like this, but I do just want to get a bit of painting done just so that I have no regrets, just in case, just in case I decide to back out that the green's too much. But I do think it's just a really nice calming color and I think it will look really nice, but just in case. And also for this video, you guys want to see some painting. You don't want to see the boring prep work. Let's get at it. We have the paint. It's time to crack it open. There we go. Oh. It's so pretty. I don't know why this color green just makes me so happy. So what I'm gonna do is I've got my brush. I'm gonna do the corner first, because obviously with a roller, it's really tricky to get in the little edges and the nooks and crannies. So I'm gonna do that first, then get the roller. And this is just gonna be very satisfying because it's not like painting white paint on white paint. You know, it's gonna be a big color change. I promise that this video isn't gonna be like watching paint dry. It's gonna be interesting. I love watching satisfying things like this. Well, you guys enjoyed the stable renovation series, so I'm sure you're gonna love this because you've been asking me, it's me, are you gonna be start painting yet for so long? We were supposed to do this in November, it's now January, but here we are. It took me a while to choose my colors. Let's go first, brush stroke. There's a bit of cobweb there. Can you just not, nobody saw that, okay. First brush stroke that isn't a tester sample. Let's go. Ooh, look at that. So um, I'm gonna put some music on because this might take me a little while and I'll be back with you guys when I've made a bit more progress. The corner's now complete and I'm really liking the color. So it's time to start rolling. Also, you should never 
ever use a screwdriver to mix paint. Let's go. <laughs> desperate times come for desperate measures. Raindrops on the red dust It's never smelled so good So far, I am loving this colour. Obviously, it needs a second coat and things, it needs to dry, but you can kind of see the vision now. I feel like, especially with all the lights properly done as well, it's gonna look so good. It's time to say goodbye to the wall of indecision. Can't lie, I've actually been enjoying it. It looks a little bit like some sort of strange modern art piece, you know, when people paint little splotches in places. You know what I mean. Anyway, I've, I've grown quite fond of it and I feel like it's gonna look so different, especially the fireplace is really gonna pop, the log burner being that cream compared to the sort of darker green around it. So it's gonna look really good. It's gonna start properly looking like a, a home rather than a construction site once this is painted, but I do enjoy all the colours though, it's quite pretty, but time to say goodbye. It's a new day, probably doesn't look like it because I'm wearing the exact same outfit. I feel like I'm gonna get so sick of editing these videos, seeing myself wearing the exact same thing because these are my painting clothes. Um, today, I thought we'd start off by giving you a little bit of a sneak peek of what the bathroom's looking like. We have tiled the walls, it's looking so good. Even the tiles in the little shampoo bottle holding area match up. They did a really good job at it. So you can see this line that goes there is also there as well. Um, the paneling is going in at the moment too. So we're gonna have to quickly paint that this weekend before the rest of the bathroom bits go in next week because I have my toilet that needs to go in, my like vanity sink unit. So it's gonna look good, it's all coming together. So I will have a bathroom soon, which is very exciting. I have somewhere I can shower. Actually the shower does need to go in still, but just to be able to have a functioning bathroom in the house is gonna make a huge difference. So far, I have only done one coat downstairs. I do need to do the second today, don't worry. I'm not gonna film that, you guys don't have to watch that. That's gonna be a bit boring. I also need to take the radiators off, so I might do that tomorrow. And also paint the paneling upstairs, so a lot still needs doing. Probably end up watching a YouTube tutorial on how to take the radiators off, but yeah. YouTube really is a wonderful thing. Watch the tutorial, it's very easy to take a radiator off. As you can see, it's now disappeared. It's actually just in the hallway. I've given it a bit of a hoover because it's looking a bit disgusting behind here. It's one of those places that I guess you never really think of cleaning. So um, yeah, time to get rid of all these cobwebs. Give it a bit of a paint. There's also some areas that we need to cork. So here there's a bit of a gap, but it'll be looking very nice afterwards. Time to get the hoover, okay. Now it's time to hoover the radiators. These are actually gonna go in my summer house. We're gonna give them a bit of a paint so they're actually the same color as the wall, which will look very nice. But anyway, time to get them looking a little bit cleaner. This is so satisfying. Oh no. We are now in the summer house, which in the future I'm gonna turn into sort of an at-home gym, which is quite exciting. I have my radiators here because it's time to paint them and I thought this would be the best place to do it because it's out of the way of the house, so if it gets a little bit messy, it doesn't matter. Also, the previous owners were, one of them was an artist, so there's a lot of paint splats on the wall anyway, so it doesn't matter if I'm a little bit on the messy side. I've actually already sanded these radiators down so they're ready to paint, but also, you know, in an ideal world, it would have been nice to get some new radiators that were that sort of 
oldie worldy Harry Potter Victorian kind of style, if you know what I mean, but we're on a budget, so painting them is the next best thing, but I think it will look really nice, especially when it's all that lovely green color. It will just be really seamless. It is quite satisfying, but I am going to be fed up with painting by the end of this. Welcome back to the bathroom. We have done a lot. The paneling is now up. We're going to have to be a little bit snappy this weekend. It's currently Saturday afternoon. The plumber is coming back on Monday um, to put, you know, the toilet in, the vanity unit. So we're going to have to paint this paneling. We have just gone through and, you know, filled in any holes, so gonna have to sand that down. We also need to do a mist coat on the plaster. This was done quite a while ago, so it should be pretty dry by now. Finish that off, then do a top coat as well. So that's gonna be in white, and then we also have the paneling that's gonna be in bone, so that's gonna be a nice contrast. So a lot needs doing, <laughs> but we'll get there, we'll get there. We'll hopefully get it done before Monday. We also have some plaster where my sort of archway is or my the hole that's gonna go from my room to the dressing room. Uh, so I'm actually just um, miscoating this as well. Obviously, this is mainly gonna be sort of covered with oak and things. However, some of it is gonna have to be painted white. So just doing that now so the paint sticks. The radiator is now back in and I've got to say this color, it's just kind of transformed the room, but also like the radiator doesn't look like this big ugly thing in the corner. Painting it was a really good decision. It's kind of just melted into the walls. The skirting is also done as well. So I need to take all this tape up. But today I can finally show you what color I've gone for in the bathroom for the paneling because although I love the tiles being like a off-white kind of color, it feels very clean, very timeless. I didn't want to go for a pop of color for the paneling. So that's what we're doing today. And I can finally show you. Yesterday we put some filler in. So I need to sand that down before we start the painting. Um, I'm also on my garden furniture because I've been using this kind of as a hop up to what I did the mist coat with yesterday for the ceiling. So I've been standing on that uh, just because it's a little bit lighter to carry up the stairs. But yeah, now it's time to sand that down and then it's time to paint. Eek! Oh my goodness, I'm excited. This is going to look so good. <laughs> where my toilet's gonna go, if you couldn't tell by the pipe down here. It's now time to paint. This is a trade paint color match to bone. It's a very nice sort of like greeny, creamy gray. That's the best way I can go for it. I wanted to go for something a little bit more neutral, but also something that's got a bit of warmth in because I find that some like white bathrooms, although they look really nice because they're, they look really clean and bright and that kind of thing. They can feel quite cold and clinical. So I thought this was a very sort of country color and we'll go with the rest of the cottage, but here we go. So this is what the wall is looking like. It's definitely more of like a olivey kind of creamy green. I really like it. I think it looks really nice. It reminds me of the sort of sandstone buildings you see in the Cotswolds. Don't know why, but it does. So uh, I'm just doing this wall and then I've got to go into a little corner there and get all the little bits there for um, my storage area. So um, I'm gonna be a little bit claustrophobic in there. It's gonna be a little bit cramped, but it'll be worth it in the end. And I'm, I'm just loving the color. We have all hands on deck doing the painting. It's now the evening. We're trying to get it done before tomorrow. <laughs> Hopefully we will get there. It's now dark outside. We thought we were gonna be a little bit pushed for time, but we finally got to the stage where we're like, okay, we're gonna get it done in time. The painting is almost done and tomorrow we have the plumber coming out. So I'm really looking forward for the like toilet to be here. There's gonna be a vanity unit and sink and then a towel rail as well. So it won't be long until the bathroom is actually finished. It's a new day and yes, we did manage to get the bathroom done in time thanks to a lot of help but I thought I would show you downstairs first. I want to show you the bathroom when it's 100% done, do a proper tour of it because it's almost there. But um, if you remember, I went to the wood yard and picked out a piece of wood. Here it is as my mantelpiece. Obviously, this isn't gonna be the finished look. Um, it's still drying out. So once it's dry, we're gonna give it a sand down. We might 
acid wash it a little bit as well just to make it a little bit lighter um, we're also going to get some bricks here i'm thinking a herringbone design might be quite nice um, just to put on this wall to really make the fireplace pop to make it look as original as it possibly can do just to really make it a nice piece um, the lights up here also need changing so we've got the electrician coming soon to do that but i feel like downstairs is coming together a little bit more um, the sofas and everything like that. I've also got a mat, so that's quite exciting, or a rug. Um, so that's all kind of moved out of the way, all of my pretty things, because obviously they've been working on here. Um, we've also got some new stones that are going down as well, because um, these ones I don't believe are original, and they've got like green glitter and stuff stuck to them, and they're a bit broken. And Anyway, so um, the fireplace is coming along nicely, and a lot has actually happened upstairs as well that I need to show you. Welcome to upstairs. This is going to be my dressing room. It looks very different because all of the doors have come off. Um, before there was a bit of a, another a second wall of indecision where I had lots of different paint samples, but I think I've decided on my paint colour. Wait a sec. Here I have one of the doors i just i think i've gone for this color i haven't actually bought bought the paint yet so i might just totally decide to change my idea but i thought i didn't want to go for gray i wanted to go for a nice warm color and i know i said i wanted a colorful house but this is the one thing that i've gone for like more of a neutral with and that is this kind of I, what is it called is it called let me find it it's called there we go this is rolling fog and that's because for my wardrobe or my dressing area i wanted to have a neutral color because when i do like outfit photos because i'm planning on having a mirror on that back wall this will be the background and if i've got like a really bright color it might clash with whatever my outfits are because i like to wear quite bright colors i'm definitely not at the moment in the winter i wear darker colors but anyway um here we go. It's almost the same colour as my jacket, actually. I thought it was really pretty. I want, didn't want. I was thinking of going white, and I thought, no, that's a little bit boring. And I also wanted to tie the bedroom together as well, because obviously we have a little archway in between the two rooms. So I think I might get some panelling like this in the bedroom, and it would seamlessly make it. It was making it just seem like a little bit more like one room, and I think that would be really nice. So that is the plan. Talking about the archway, here it is. Um, also, apologies about the lighting. The lights in here aren't that good, so you know, it's all, everything's a little bit of a work in progress. We're using decorators kind of lighting that we've got from a local DIY store. Um, but here we go again. We're gonna, well, I was gonna say distress, is that the right word? Um, we're gonna make, give it a little bit more character. We're gonna round off the edges like we have done with some of the structural beams and like we did downstairs with the mantelpiece. And I think that will look really nice. Um, again, we're gonna sand it down, acid wash it, so it's all sort of the same color, that nice, really lovely oak. Um, also, it does look a little bit like low down, but that's because it is a 100 year old cottage. All of the doors are a lot smaller. So this is actually the same height as all the other doors, which, you know, fit little old me, this is perfect. So that's all right. Um, if you are a little bit taller, even on my tippy toes, actually, I don't need to duck. I do have a bit of a pom-pom on, so that's making me a little bit taller. But anyway, I'll show you the structural beams now because they look really pretty. So this looks very different to how it was before, but the main important thing is that the house is actually being held up properly. Before we had a piece of softwood that was not in the right place. The original, I think, had been moved. So that was way over here. And what happened was this bit of roof, it was literally just falling down. Like there are cracks all the way in here where it just wasn't being properly supported. So now the house is being held up. So that is a great start. Um, I think it looks really pretty as well. And again, once we've made it all pretty, sanded it down, I think it's going to look really good. These are little bits that I'm talking about where we've kind of distressed it, given it a bit of character, make it look not as blocky and not as square, which I think personally looks really nice. And yeah, we've had to do this in three different bedrooms just to make the house a bit more structurally sound. That's always good. I like to make things pretty, but the house isn't falling down. <laughs> Welcome to my door. Um, so the doors look very different. We've had Carl the carpenter who's done an incredible job at not only, you know, fitting to some of the structural beams and um, putting the oak everywhere that Apparently it was very tricky, so thank you very much, Carl. Um, but also we have removed the frosted glass that was in here. For me personally, I just, 
the frosted glass life wasn't for me. Found it a bit weird, so I've taken that out and we're gonna um, fill this in with wood and hopefully we're gonna try our very best to match the wood as much as possible, fix it up. My budget didn't stretch to getting new doors, especially as they'd have to be custom because this is such an old house. The door isn't very straight. You know, this house does have a lot of character and that's one of the reasons why I fell in love with it. So I didn't want to come out here and just kill the character away. Anyway, another thing that I've kind of, with the budget, as you would have kind of seen before but I didn't really talk about it was the wardrobe we are keeping the same wardrobe doors we're just trying to fix it up make it a little bit better we're always going to put shelves and things in there especially for my height so I can reach up high when putting um like t-shirts and things on hangers uh, so that's another thing that we have saved on with the budget for renovating the house but I feel like these doors are going to be good and I feel like a little shopkeeper like this is my little I don't know I don't know what I'm going, to, going on about but it does feel kind of weird having a door with a hole in so I don't want to spoil too much of what the bathroom's looking like because it's so almost done but there's one thing that I want to show you wait a sec did you hear that I now have a toilet and it flushes and it works that's very exciting for me I have somewhere to wee now, which is great. It's great. 